what's the link between diabetes and hair loss? I, I've been thinking about it and I'm trying to correlate. And there is certain importance between how you want to look after your diabetes in relation with your hair loss. But let's start with diabetes first. Now, we all know what diabetes is and we usually wait for when the sugar levels are really high, then we say you, are, you have diabetes. Now, there are other ways to check. One of the most important ways is to actually check your HbA1c or your glycolated hemoglobin. So in your red blood cells, it contains information over the last 90 days, how your sugar control is. So traditionally, when someone comes faster, they pause, then they come and take their blood sugar and the levels are low, they think they're okay, but that's not true. So if you check your HbA1c and it's above 5.6, chances are over the last 90 days, you've been a naughty, 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 naughty person. And that's how we can tell if you are at risk for diabetes. So if you really want to know what's your risk, go get yourself tested for HbA1c. Then you know your real status. Next video, I'll talk about how diabetes and hair loss correlates.